All right, guys, today we have quite a treat. We are going to be facing off against the number one ranked player currently on March 2nd of 2014. We're playing Heck Freezes Over, which is a great map, probably one of the best uh, maps there is. We're playing the right versus right side, and he is an allied player, America, so this is going to probably uh, make me go crazy by the end of the game with the amount of Rocketeers, Paradrop will send my way. My goal here is to make it a good long game. I mean, I could try to rush him, but chances are he'd be able to stop it and it would end the game in about three minutes. So I'm going to try making about two miners for my War Factory in hopes. Construction. Um, Cannot deploy here. Building. New my dog is doing pretty quite damn well. You know, you can see he's going right to the gems, as you should, as one should. I'm going to the gems. You know, Heck Freezes Over is not my personal best map. I was always afraid of it because uh, everybody always played it and had these super BOs. Construction complete. Super base orders that Building. just dominated New people. Options. He's a little quicker to, the, to his build order than me. Uh, whenever an allied player gets the War Factory at the same time as a Soviet player, that's not a good sign. That means you're lagging. Uh, in your build. For the purposes of this game, uh, the focus generally is on the right side of the map. Construction complete. Building. Um. Yeah, the right side of the map here. A lot. A lot of the tank battle will happen in this area. This section, you'll see. Complete. Unit ready. This is such a great map for Building. both Allied and so and uh, Soviets. Allies have such a. Nice ability to use Rocketeers and use the Cliffs to their Unit, advantage ready. to make your tanks go crazy. Make you spend quite a bit of extra money on extra flat cannons. While, whereas the Soviets obviously have the, the ability to build a large army and attack well. See, he's got an early uh, paradrop. I mean, early Air Force. Building. Up, which means he'll have an early paradrop, which means I will have to watch out for that. Construction. The best the best defense against a paradrop is Ready. simply to scout properly. That's the bottom line. That's what Building. there is to it. You need to be able to scout properly. He's going to have a rocketeer up soon. I'm going to try to apply some pressure Unit. Ready. here early on, on hold. as a Soviet player Down. must do against a good Building. allied player, because quite frankly, if you're not pressuring the allied player, they're going to just destroy you by... Uh, Unit ready. Construction complete. Destroy you by annoying you with shit. Building. So Unit my base order ready. is not the best, quite frankly. There's probably better out there. Unit ready. Unit lost. I might have something going on here. So this is the crucial point for uh, the allied player. Simply because. Oh fuck. He's got shit in my base. This is not good. There we go. Kill him. Okay, so we've, we've had a nice. Uh, around there. He's got some freaking Harriers that I'm going to have to watch out for. You can see I'm going to try to move my flak track because he's going to be attacking my flak track right at the right time. Unfortunately, it fell. Useless. That's called trying to control my tanks after many years of not playing this game. I have too many miners over here. I'm going to send some over there to balance it out. Here's another freaking another paradrop, another annoying bloody paradrop. You can see he's starting to really devise a good plan here. Small victory for me there. I need desperately need a bloody radar versus to this type of player. Otherwise, he's quite frankly just going to annoy the living shit out of me. Unit ready. Cannot deploy here. Building. Unit He's ready. starting to expand his base. He's gonna... I'm assuming Unit that he's ready. gonna use his Rocketeers, try to mess with me a little. And, uh, 
New construction options. Unit ready. And airdrop at the same time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to number one of these three to leave back there while I try to Unit put some pressure ready. on him to divert the situation. I mean, this is getting pretty difficult. Unit you can see it's ready. starting to camp here. So I might try to move along here. Here comes this paradrop. Unit ready. Our base is under attack. All miners under attack. You know exactly what I said he was going to do. He had a, still had a nice move there. Unit ready. Unit lost. Construction complete. He's really uh, doing a nice job here. It's proven to be quite a good game. He actually killed that, which sucks. I'm gonna Unit try to mess, lost. try to get some tanks here. Unit ready. While he's attacking, Unit focusing lost. on his attack on me. Ah, that was a big win for me right there. Let's see if I can. Unit ready. Get him. Unit lost. Let's see if I can. Unit ready. This might be working out well for me. Unit you know, lost. like I said. Oh, he is a, he camped well there, defended well there. I can't believe I let that Unit pass lost. me. Unit but ready. So be it. I think I had an open in there to defeat him, but I failed to produce. Unit ready. So ideally, I should be working on my ah mother. This guy. This is why I hate the fucking Soviets. Unit ready. I mean the Allies. He is. I don't know where his MCB is. It's probably out in the bottom left. I failed the scout there. Another failure of epic proportions. Building. Unit ready. You can't have you can't make these mistakes against a top ranked player, you know, and expect to win. But that's what happens Unit when ready. you don't play this game for so long. Training. Here he comes with his rocketeer. At some point, I just kind of end up saying, "F this, I'm going to Unit attack." Ready. Ah! Unit ready. I'm running out of money. He's probably got a base in the freaking bottom left. I need to finish this game off. At some point, like Unit I said, there, it just kind of is like, all right, let's get this over with and attack. Unit so let's try this. Let's try to send my miners here as fodder. Let's use these Unit guys over here, ready. and let's make this happen. Unit lost. All miner under attack. A nice prism tower Unit lost. display there. Unit ah, I moved my tanks Unit too far lost. in. All miner under attack. Unit lost. Unit promoted. Not looking great, but also not looking terrible. You can see he outlasted me by camping properly. Building. And now what I'm gonna try to do is do ready. one more ball and attack. You know, this guy has one, two, two war Unit factories, ready. apparently. That's not a whole lot compared to my three. I should I should have been able to take this guy through uh brute force, but Unfortunately, the mistakes I made have been very costly. I need to sell some things to regain my money since I have lost three miners earlier in that attack, and it's basically going to come down to this final approach here. I'm trying to use, utilize my advantage of war factories right now to get one more good attack here. Let's make this happen. Unit lost. He has a fucking Chrono Legionnaire, huh? Building. I am not building shit, which is not good. Unit ready. Unit lost. Unit ready. Oh fuck. Move my screen. Unit. You know, he really played well to get. That's exactly how you should get uh, a a battle lab as as an ally player. You play, you cripple the opponent, you unit lost, unit ready. You force the Soviet to attack right into your hands. I mean, if I had better scouting, I might have been able to attack him from here. But that's the way it is. Unit ready. Unit lost. Guy played Unit well. Ready. Our base is under attack. And uh sold. that's why he's rank one Unit right now. Ready. Capture sold. Unit lost. 
our base is under attack. I think I, lo I lost two of the mistakes. I think there was an area in the earlier in the game where I had an open and to take advantage of, but he defended well. Great game. Unit lost. 